Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. It's myself, Alan, and you're very welcome. Today we're going to have a look at the Step Designer in Cubase 13. And uh, this you will find over in the MIDI inserts. What I have here is I just have a, a drum beat. Can I play it for you? I have a bass. Okay, so open the bass is just uh, the DX100 bass and it's from um, Halion Sonic. I've just changed the attack and the release on it to uh, shorten them. If I click on the bass and I go down here to uh, MIDI inserts, I click on MIDI inserts. If I go into where the effects are, if I click on this, this is where you will find the Apache 5, the Apache SX. And you'll also find the beat designer and you'll find this, the step designer. And this is what it looks like. This allows me to put notes in um, a bit like a, the arpeggiator. I can put notes in, I can put whatever notes I want in. I can move them, the notes up and down octaves. I can move them to the right, I can move them to the left. Um, I also can change, this is on a 16 beat at the moment. So if I can change that, I'll just go back to the 16. This is the step size. You can change it to whatever you want. I'll just put it on to eight at the moment. And uh, this is also swing. You let you change the swing. But there's other things you can do. You can change the gate and you can change the velocity, which you can't do in the arpeggiator. So this is where it comes in as uh, being a lot better. If I just put in some notes, you just click on a note, click on it again, and it goes. If I just press play, you'll hear the note. So what I'll do is, because I am working in um, B minor, I'll just put in a row of, uh, or sorry, G minor, I'll put in a row of Gs. If I just go across there, hold it down. Now if I play back, and I can change these notes to whatever I want. If I click on another note, for this I'll just go back. Um, I can also change the step size. And I can also change the swing. click on here this is where the velocity is and I can make some higher some lower I play it now I can also click in here and it gives me the option I can change the gate. The gate is the size of the note. So if you see the notes here, if I can just randomly change the size of the notes. If I go down here, what I want to do, if I click on this, the pan, I go down here and click on, now 
Now, if I play it, this will move, hopefully. I can also go in and change this one here as well. I'm going to change this. If I just move it, and we'll just do a random pattern on this as well. And I press play. You can see both of them are moving now. I can move down an octave. I can move up. I can move it to the left. So that's one pattern, as you can see, I have it in here, pattern number one. What I can do is I can save this pattern. I can uh, go in here and click on copy pattern and that will copy it. And then I can move on to a second pattern. As you see, it'll come up blank. If I press uh, paste, the pattern will appear. So now I have pattern one and I have pattern two. And pattern two, I can change. I can just change this slightly. So now if I play back. I'll also change the velocity on it. Now if I go back to start and press play. I can change to uh, the first pattern whenever I want. What I've done is I've just copied and pasted four ideas. So I have four different patterns now. I'll just show them to you and they're all there. Uh, slightly different i've changed the velocity and the harmonics on them i've changed the gate on all of them as well as you can see and also i've changed um, the swing on some of them slightly and also on pattern number four i've just changed uh, i went to a quarter note from a half note so if I go back to number one and I press play, I can now change uh, from each pattern as I the sound progresses. But I want to be able to record them and get the, the MIDI from here into this, into and onto my track. It's set up as um, if you play notes, if I play uh, the C1 note, you'll see it there, this pattern appears. If I press then C sharp, it'll go on to pattern two. Pattern three then is 
automatically will go on to the D and pattern four will go on to uh, the D sharp. And you can go up to 200 patterns at a time you can add in and you can just go up the chain, up the fretboard and um, put them in. So if I want to record these in, if I just press record, have everything set up, press record, I just go on to the C for the start and I do pattern number one and I just toggle them and you'll see them changing. As you can see now, the MIDI notes um, haven't gone in, but what you do get, if I open it up and show you, it, it will record the triggers. So this will change from each one as I go. So what I want to do is I sort of make sure they're on the... So as I play, it'll trigger the note, which will trigger the pattern. But you can do 200 patterns and you can change them as many times as you want to. Also, you can do is, um, it doesn't come with presets, but what you can do is um, you can click in here and you can save your pattern. I just have this one saved as Alan Bass Swing. You can also do this here, which is uh, random, which randomly changes the pattern. Don't forget, you can also move up and down the octaves and you can move it from right to left or you can reverse. So if I press play now. As you can see it changing. And if I show you this, you will also see that the two of these are changing from here and here. So that's the step designer in Cubase. You can also use it um, as for melodies. You can use it for melodies. I use it for bass and you can get, um, you can have the same note, but get very uh, different variations of it. And um, you can uh, do some uh, really good stuff with it. So thanks for watching. And uh, don't forget to click and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks very much.